Hi everybody, my name is Scott Hillier, Independent Film Director and President of ECU, the European Independent Film Festival. Thank you very much for joining us here at ECU Friday Live from a glorious, glorious, hot and sunny Paris. Um, today's discussion is about acting in independent films. This is, today's discussion will concentrate on what it's like to act in an independent film and to find out if there are advantages or not, and explain the freedom that is always discussed in the indie world. Finding work as an independent actor can be a difficult task, especially when, like most of your peers, you aren't that well known and have limited experience. So we'll discuss how you can change that. We'll also discuss with our guests if independent films give actors more opportunities to have creative input. We all know that major Hollywood studios are trying to get the most popular film actors and actresses in their next film, while independent flicks are looking for fresh new faces to tell their stories and to perhaps discover the next great screen idol. Today, joining us is the award-winning actress, Sherry Hagen. Sherry was born in Lagos, Nigeria, and is an independent as an actress and director. And it, an interesting fact is that she originally wanted to be a doctor, but was hired as an actress when she accompanied a friend to an audition. With that, her life changed for that dark and interesting path of appearing in films and TV series. In addition, Sherry produces her own project as a screenwriter, director, and producer. She trained at the Théâtre Oden Vienne in Vienna, and in 2022, which is how we came to know her, she shared the Best Actress Award at ECU, the co-star for the film I Am. So, I'd like to welcome Sherry to today's Echo Friday Live. How are you doing, Sherry? I'm good. Thank you very much. Also for the award. Thank you very much, Scott. <laughs> it's good to be with you. <laughs> so, Sherry, why don't we um, why don't we jump straight into this and talk about um, your, the, your journey up to here, your, your journey in the acting world. Um, it's quite simple. I started out with musical, musical acting, which is totally different than film acting and stage acting, of course. And, um, and I mostly do television in Germany. So I'm based in Germany, based in Berlin. And um, yes, there's a big difference between television and film, and especially independent film, and of course, also with short films. So um, that's what I'm recently kind of way doing more and more and looking out for because it still gives you more yeah opportunities to play different roles I would say and what is the what is the um what's the sort of independent scene like there in Germany it's quite wild and virus diverse I would say because we do have different filmmakers, young filmmakers, young and also older filmmakers, and everyone's searching for their own voice. And um, I think, like everywhere, it depends on money. It depends on money. It depends on um, how to tell your story um, with less or a lot of money. So that's it. So it's quite, it's quite improving, I would say. So it's more and more, especially through all these diversity talk, they're more um, um, talents you see and so it's quite imp impressive so I mean let's just talk about um, indie films here do you, yeah. do you feel you um, you have the opportunities to have more and it was stick on the actress thing because I know that you're a screenwriter and director but you know do you find that in the indie world you, it gives you more possibilities to have a more of a creative input into the project I would say yes I would say find I mean, as an actress, to be honest, it doesn't matter what, um, because I use the same tools to act. It doesn't matter if it's stage acting, it doesn't matter if it's um, on television, or it doesn't matter if it's, um, it's, if it's film or any film. So I use the same tools to act. It's just like on stage, you do use different tools than in, in film, of course. But I would say the space which is given as in front for an actress from the director it's different because mostly on television you, you don't really have enough time so you, ha you have to jump you jump in and you jump out so it's always kind of way you don't receive or you don't get enough space to develop or to to be creative and um i think with indie films 
especially um, in the films which come out of the indie film community, I would say, um, with less, with less, where you have to improvise more, maybe I would say. They do give you space, you do have space to improvise, you do have um, time to get to, to learn about the, um, the director's language and the vision of the director, which is quite interesting, because I think as an actor, you always have to understand what the director wants. And because you're only a part of the whole picture and, and you, you receive more time for that. Let's um let's talk about the the film I am, which yeah. um you know we loved it here and obviously so did the jury, um at Eku. What um how did you get involved in this project? Typical classical. I mean, we, I, I just audition. I went for the audition, and um and they liked my audition. It started with a um e casting audition, and then we had a live um, audition which was quite funny because it was the audition when the pandemic started. So I wasn't allowed to touch my colleague. And there was a kind of a, a glass bother between us. And we had, there's a table scene, I think you could, you're going to see in the film. And we auditioned that scene and there was a glass between us. So I wasn't really too, because I'm an actress who also likes to work with a body. And so I wasn't really allowed to use my body. I wasn't really allowed to touch her and, and to kind of express my anger. So that was quite interesting. But um, otherwise, it was just a typical e-casting audition and live audition. And then that, that's it. I, um, you, you talked just before about time. And there's, there's a lot of people watching this who are sort of like the technical side of this as well. So how, how long did you actually, were you on set? How long did it take to shoot the film? I had um, 14 shooting days for the film, which is quite a lot for, for a short film. And, um, but it didn't feel like 14 days because it was so full and rich. Um, I would have, I mean, this, that's the kind of film which could have been a feature film too, you know, if, if they had the script done for a feature film. And because the role was quite rich and um, I could have, done more if I was allowed to but we were limited so but we were limited in a good way yeah we'll, we'll, we'll play a couple of clips of the film now but um your your role was was a very interesting one and and the juxtaposition between you and the and the and the your co-star was very interesting obviously two different things mm -hmm. um what this tell me a little bit about about that you know the difference in the and the tools that you brought to this role I think my role especially was dealing with loneliness, loneliness and, and family issues. And um, what, that's the kind of role or the way the director wanted to have the role is you, you don't, he's got no time to talk about the backstory. So here, about maybe in two or three lines about the backstory, but the backstory was very important. You, the backstory has been shown on the set design, on the way she moves, on the way she took um, um, on in her costume, um, with the, um, what you say, requisite with the things on, and on, on the set and, um, and the way she, she deals with this robot lady and, and, and the that's the way he wanted to show the loneliness and the deep hurt she was carrying with her. And, um, and I think I was, this role is based on looks. That's what I would say, which is very important for cinema anyway, that the, um, the eyes were important, the way I looked at her, the way I guessed at her, and, and the way I touched things. It was more about movement and about looks, I would say, than more about the, what we are saying, because what we're saying doesn't really matter. It's just like the way we're dealing with each other. Let's, um, let's talk about... Um... Melody for a second. I mean, she's obviously very young and, and she's coming up. Um, she played a great role. Yes, she did a good job, a very good job. Yes. Yeah. It's also, and she had the fancy outfit. <laughs> I had the old <laughs> overall. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're in dungarees and she's in pretty clothes. <laughs> um, but it's, it's very hard to establish um, 
I mean, you're a professional actress, so of course it's not that hard, but it's very hard to establish any form of chemistry in, in 14 days. But um, we, we felt that you did, and very much so in, you know, we were in the jury room and it was, a, it was the first time ever that we've done a shared Best Actress Award. Oh, wow. Thank you very much for that, really. Yeah, Thank no, you. There was no, there wasn't a hair in between the, the judging thing, and which is why, you know, one of the guys just turned around and said, well, we've just got to split it. And so um, we were, we, we thought both of the, 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 the craft was excellent on both sides. So, you know, congratulations yeah, for, thank for, you. That, for us. Um, the robot issue is a very interesting one because people move into that more and more and more. Um, was that a certain appeal to you as well, going for this? For this thing was it a bit of a shock or was it you know did that add a dimension for you no, it does because that's what also i like about the film because the film is also reflecting on, on our society today because it's becoming more digital and it's becoming more always um intelligent um 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 how do you say it? um it stuff that it's it it just because either you're in 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 the um you're in the society you can deal with it or you're out. If you don't have it, if you don't have to ha know how to use it, you're kind of way out of the society. Because now we do pay less with cash. We do use cards, credit cards. And what does it mean for someone who doesn't have a credit card or is not allowed to um who can't deal with a credit card? And so, but that's the one thing. But the other thing is also what I liked about the director, Jerry Hoffman, by showing these two, not the way we see these two characters, not really, um, um, we don't see them every day. So you've, you've got these old, lonely um, 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 lady who lives in the woods, you won't think she's good with tools you wouldn't think she's good with with, um, um, with tech with technique and who kind of way loves technique and survives through technique and the other robot lady who 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 just wants to be simple who kind of way wants to be able to dream who wants to be able to feel and who's looking for humanity and that's the film also about humanity i think so that's what i like about the role very much because it just shows the diverse diversity of humanity in different ways through a woman, a human being, and through a robot who wants to be a human being. Yeah, well, I um, I did, just as your point there of just actually just understanding that and whatever. But we made a um, we had a shoot the other day at a, a cryptocurrency conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. I yeah. beg everyone listening here just to um. Just to go down the path, not of cryptocurrency, but of just about artificial intelligence and stuff like that. And there's a lot of videos online that can explain it. But basically, everybody should just know a little bit about that type of world as well, because it's. Um, I was shocked and amazed. I mean, these people were speaking gobbledygook to me, but mm. they're also running our world. And the more and more about what's happening is happening in that space. And I think rather than being a participant, we should actually know just a little drop about it, a little bit of thing, because it's. Um, it's a bit scary what is actually happening. Yeah. It's scary in a good way because that's the way we're going. But I think everybody should just be a little bit involved in that. We have um, to be all um, on alphabets. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, it's, a, it's a little bit about the trans transition from that, that we all did as filmmakers from film to the video. Right. You know, we're all purists and traditionalists and saying, no, we'll only ever make films on film and whatever. And, and the clever ones that went off and attacked it quicker actually realized we could make it look like film and we could actually do bigger and better and and stronger things. So my advice is just to to, to jump out there and, and do that. But I opened the the discussion with suggesting that we could actually, you know, based on your experience, maybe help those young actors and actresses out there looking to get into roles and looking to get into this business because, you know, at our our epoch and our era, it was very much just get out and do as much as you possibly can. So what would your advice be to these young actors and actresses struggling to, to open the door? I would say get out just what you said as much as you can use the social field. Um, it's, it's the platforms, I would say, because uh, especially in Germany, people are always looking for actors and actresses. So go out and do some stuff like that. Also with film schools, um, 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 Film schools, I mean, I did a lot of, I mean, 
I am. It's just um, the last film from Jerry Hoffman's um, 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 graduation um, film from the from, from the film school. So I think one should be open to students too, film students, because they do have a lot of, especially also shorts, do a lot of short films too, um, because that's also a chance to get in and to be seen. And because you always need material, so it's, it's also a chance to pick up materials in order to send to um, broadcasters and streaming platforms and all the stuff. Yeah. So come together, get together. If you, if you, if you don't have someone you don't know where to go to but if you know a good writer then ask a writer to write um write a script for you and um and so and, and get some bunches of people to make a film so it's always easy it's, um you don't need a lot of money these days for short films i would say well that's that's great advice um, for feature a... films it's different yeah. yeah that's great advice from a real professional i mean you 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 and your co-star held the screen and you were basically in every shot, both of you. So you, you did an amazing work. So um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to Rodrigo, who's ECU's um, festival coordinator, and he'll get the, the people on the call to ask you a couple of questions. So Rodrigo, it's all you, mate. Hi, Sherry. Nice Hi, to meet you. So Hi. Be, I would put first Marina, who has a question for you. Yes, please. Hi, I mean, I mean uh, we are very happy to have you live and ask you some questions and get more insights on acting and acting for independent. Uh, my question is, how, how does it feel to be a director but still acting in someone's uh, film project as an actor? Does it feel or the director within yourself would interfere or wouldn't? How do you feel? I'm able to to have a sharp cut because um, I think I do know more. I see more. I see like things we don't have to do. I still do <laughs> as an actress. Something sometimes you've got the feeling you're acting for the bin. <laughs> you know this scene is going to be edited out, um, but that doesn't matter because it's still um, um, beautiful to act. And and there's always some surprises at the end. But um, I'm able to, to cut because if I'm acting, I'm, I'm, I'm acting, I'm in the role and um, I'm not the director because I don't see, I don't have the picture of the whole film because I think that's a thing, a director always has the picture of the whole film and has its own vision or her own vision. And, and I believe we direct four times as a director because you write the script first and you use for the, and you look for the cast. Then you, you are on set with all the creative departments and then the editing and the sound which makes a huge um, compassion at the end i think which also you can see it with i am um, sound design is very important and editing is very important so that and that's we, we are not in as an actress and i think you can um through the wrong editing or the wrong sound you can also kind of really spoil the acting <laughs> so so that's why I always concentrate on the acting. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now I will move to Diana. Hello. Uh, my question is for you that have you had any kind of um, uh, role, model, role models or influencers in your career? Yes, 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 I did. I mean, um, on both sides i mean for me i mean that's now big names i'm using i don't really like to drop names but um what you're asking quite directly um i mean when, when i saw like um um the first time i saw viola davis in doubt i don't know if you know the film the, the doubt, um doubt with larry streep and it was just a short um short scene or two short scenes she had to put all these pain and struggle for her son she did it was very beautiful and she's also i would call myself also a silent actress i'm not one of the loud persons so she's i would say also a silent actress who who can always shines through the second glance or the second view and um and especially like what she did and also octavia spencer in, in the help i don't know if you've seen the film the help 
it's unbelievable the way both of them acted because we do know her from this always being the strong woman's side but also to see her um, being strong in a weak way or in a helpless way was beautiful too and of course i also have men too i mean i'm a huge robot in Niro fan i'm a huge Denzel washington fan i think the way they act it's just like unbelievable so these are kind of really my role models yes that's a great answer our intern Bira has a question for you um yes uh hello i'm Vera. Hi. and uh hi <laughs> And uh, uh, I want to say that your acting was uh, very convincing and uh, impressive. So I would like to know how did you prepare for this role and what helped you to immerse into the character? That's a good question. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of bringing you into my kitchen because I always think um, each actor, actress has got their own kitchen. They kind of use the spices and mix the spices for their next role. Um, I use a lot of backstory. Um, it's very important for me, especially if I have a young director, like, or if I have a director who is also interested in the backstory and gives you the space and time, um, like way Jerry did, to create the role too. Because um, so I always kind of we start with 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 where this character comes from and what the aim of this character is, and and where the pain sits and where the joy sits i think that's very important and also where the humor sits because i think um good films they have to be painful but they also have to be humorous you have to also have to be able to laugh and so that's these are the three points i always ask myself where's the pain where's the humor and where's the joy um, and where's the joy joy without just being happy and so if i have these three points like a triangle i just kind of way scale how far can I go with a character what's the main point the character shows and what's the main important important points and also the body talk um, the body um, language I think is very important um, because she's been very lonely she's not used to communicate with um, human beings um, it's just like to find a voice how how deep how high where's her pitch and um, and how does she move and so these are the I think the main five things I ask myself with each character. And sometimes you're not able to show everything. It depends on what kind of role you're playing, but sometimes you're able to show a um, complex role. And sometimes I just have to use two things out of these tools I have out of my toolbox. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now our last question comes from Margarita. Hello, I'm Margarita work here. Um, my question was about the fact that currently in Hollywood, um, you know, there is sort of an issue when it comes to actresses not receiving roles after they turn a certain age. Um, so I was wondering if you think there is a similar problem within the European independent scene, or would you say it is different? No, I think it's still a problem. The lack of female roles over 35 it's just unbelievable and um so it's still a huge issue it does it's i think it's it doesn't matter where you are but maybe in some countries um european countries is better than in the others but i think that's still what we filmmakers need to work on because um it's still we still have stories to tell about um elder women and i'm talking about over 40 which is not really age for me, age starts with 70, 80, and, um, but we hardly see 70, 80 years old um, women in, in, um, in main roles. And if we do see them, they have to have a huge name um, in order to be a complex role. And, and, but it's, and then, of course, you hardly see a woman of color in, um, in those roles. So that's still a huge issue, and it's still what we need to work and 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 um, promote to um, to ask for more changes. But well, we are able to do that because we are the ones doing writing the stories, making the films, and 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 creating. So we can do that ourselves, and that's the huge thing with the independent films. You have to feel um, to be more creative and to 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 look more out of the box, which is more challenging. 
Well, I um, I like the optimism in that, and I and I and it was, a, it was a great question. So because I think that you know, and and you approach it very very well, and you know, indie films. Let's 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 be inclusive and get that out there and keep telling great stories. Um, we're coming to towards the end on this, and we always the the great Eku crew here come up with nice bits of fun trivia about films. Um, we like to end with. Um, here's one of them. And while some actors are born wanting to be on stage or in movies, it took catching malaria for Rebel Wilson to realize that she wanted to be an actress. It was apparently during a trip to South Africa while she was, um, Wilson says, while she was hallucinating with malaria. She hallucinated about winning an Oscar. After that, she decided to turn the hallucination into a real life pursuit. So that's a, an interesting little fun fact. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we, um, just to talk about ourselves here for a second, um, ECU, the European Independent Film Festival, is still receiving submissions for ECU 2023, where we'll be getting more great films like I Am. Um, we're looking forward to seeing that. Um, our sister festival, the All Asian Independent Film Festival, is also open for submissions. Um, All Asian Independent Film Festival, uh, you can find them both online, ECU, the European Independent Film Festival. Our mantra is to uh, discover, project and promote the world's best independent films. And, um, and the storytellers, and we'd like to think, just like Sherry, our, our guest today, you know, the storytellers of our generation. So, Sherry, I want to thank you very, very much. Um, you know, it's great to, to see you now. We, we didn't catch up in Paris, and maybe one day we will. Um, but keep, keep telling stories, keep um, captivating us on screen, because that's definitely what you did. Um, uh, thanks to the EQ crew for putting in a great event, Rodrigo and the, and the staff, great, great thing. Um, Sherry, again, pleasure. I can't wait to see you back up on screen again. And thank you very much, everybody, for joining us here on EQ Friday Live. Thank you very much for the invitation. Mm -hmm.